to achieve but it's like i said it's unrealistic so the more you try to focus on what is achievable the better to you know keep your mindset intact and keep your mental health in check is what you should do well hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is avoy i'm a nigerian youtuber based in ninja state mina if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share if possible thank you so much to my returning subscribers you guys are the real mvps thank you guys so much i appreciate you i appreciate your effort and i appreciate your love towards my channel and um on this video we'll be talking about something very juicy and it's actually a very productive topic so sit down relax while i take you through this very interesting and productive topic well on this video we'll be talking about how to boost your self-esteem yes which is very important boosting your self-esteem so we'll be talking about 10 tips that we can all use to boost our self-esteem becoming a mom can be one of the most rewarding experiences in life and it could also be one of the most challenging because we all know it's not an easy thing but the more you lose confidence in yourself and the more you lose your self-esteem you're just going to feel like everything is falling apart you don't have confidence in yourself and you're not going to have that positive energy to carry out your daily activity so to regain our self-esteem there are tips that we should put in place to make sure that we feel better and we feel happier about ourselves because the happier we are the happier our families and we really need to be happy to make everyone around us happy we don't want to be fussy moms you know so we need to keep our self-esteem in check and make sure we are doing okay first off what is self-esteem well self-esteem is the opinion you have about yourself and your abilities it can be influenced by factors like you know, your confidence your identity and you know your sense of belonging self-esteem can you know it can be high it can be low and it could um, be somewhere in between so you should know where you belong you know how your self-esteem is so you should be able to rate yourself to know how high low or if you're actually just in between and if your self-esteem is low then this video is for you first point is be kind to yourself yes you should be kind to yourself you know that little voice in your head that tells you you're killing it's that voice that tells you you're doing well you should actually listen to it because it's very very important you might sleep you might get stuck life is full of challenges so when you sleep you know you get back up again and you keep on trying because it's not easy and you have to you know give yourself some kudos because you're doing well you can't you know be making it all the time but with the little effort you're putting in and maybe when you're not seeing much results don't beat yourself up be kind to yourself it's really not easy and you are really doing well so try to encourage yourself and one good way in going about this is by actually talking to yourself if you don't do this you should try to do it you could actually you know talk to yourself and you know it could be like you're talking to somebody but just try to talk to yourself and talk yourself out of you know, some unnecessary things and thoughts in your head and you know just encourage yourself because it's really very important talking to yourself might actually be very hard but when you you know keep on practicing practice makes perfect so the more you practice the more you're able to get more comfortable and you know more open and free to talk to yourself and talk yourself through some things that might be bothering you and all of that and actually you know talk some sense into you by yourself so it's actually very important if you can talk to yourself the second tip i'll say is do you stop comparing yourself to others you know stop comparing your achievement to others move at your own pace and you get the required goal that you set to achieve and try to achieve them without actually comparing your you know level and all of that to other people so by being you and doing you it actually boosts your self-esteem because you try to see other people's achievements and see the level at where every other person is you know going and maybe translating it to yours might actually reduce your self-esteem so for you to boost that you need to do you and pay attention to you because you are important and it is your life so do you and 
you will feel better pressure is what you do not want you know that is unnecessary pressure and pressuring yourself like that might end up affecting you you know negatively so you don't want that so just do you and um forget any other thing well another tip is get moving so exercise is very important for our minds and bodies so the more we can exercise the better for our body so you know exercising every day could actually help it might be in different forms it might be taking a walk you know it might be going to the gym and all of that just try to get moving just you know keep your body in motion keep your body in motion and um it will really help you know it, might, it helps to release endorphin which is you know we all know is the feel good hormone the hormone that makes you feel good so the more endorphin you release the more you feel good so um it's actually a good way to go uh, the fourth tip here is um no one is perfect so you knowing that no one is perfect helps you to reduce the amount of pressure you put in yourself because you work at your own pace and you just know that you just try to you know achieve your goals and all of that without pressuring yourself too much you know nobody is perfect perfection is unrealistic it's an unrealistic goal that people you know try to achieve but it's like i said it's unrealistic so the more you try to focus on what is achievable the better set goals that you know you can achieve something you know you can do do what makes you happy whatever makes you happy do it because you need you know that clean mindset you need the energy you could actually just you know schedule a me time that's a you time a time where you could just do something positive vibes and all of that because when you have a positive thinking and you're a positive mood it gives you that positive energy so the more positive energy you get the better your self-esteem so it's actually important that you know make a you time for just you and what makes you happy and just you know focus on it and it could be every day it could be a particular time every day just for you because it's really important you know to prioritize yourself so look for a you time and try to work with that you time and try to be happy well another tip i'll say here is um celebrate your wins yes celebrate your small wins because a win is a win either big or small so no matter how it is it's worth celebrating because it will actually boost boost your confidence and you know give you the positive vibe throughout the day you could just wake up maybe try to prepare breakfast and you try to fry an egg or something and it tastes great you could actually celebrate that because it boosts your confidence you know okay i'm doing something good this actually turned out good for me so yeah i'm really happy so you doing that and you know those either what is this is just an egg and anybody can find it yes anybody can do it but you did it and you did it okay so it's worth celebrating and you should feel good that you're even able to do something like that because everyone can do it and you also did it so that is you know that's a plus so you doing it is actually a nice thing for you and you know it's it's going to boost your confidence so it's actually good that you celebrate your small wins no matter how small it is actually a win so a win is a win so celebrate your small win well another tip i'll say is be a friend yes be not only a friend but be a good friend be a good friend in the sense that you are helpful you are jovial to your friends and they see you as someone that is you know free-spirited you're not you know always uptight you try to mingle with people and try to be friendly with them as well it also boosts your self-esteem and helps you with your activities and all of that so be a good friend to your friends and they'll also be good to you as well because the energy you give out is the energy you get in return so make sure you give a positive energy so you could also receive a positive energy in return is actually very important that tip i'll say here is surround yourself with positive squad surround yourself with people that you are cool with surround yourself with people that give you you know good vibes surround yourself with people that lift you up and help to support you because people like that have an impact on your confidence so the more you're rolling with people like that, the more confident you feel about yourself and, you know, just try to get the whole negative vibe out. 
if you are in a place where you're not comfortable you could actually live there if you're seeing posts and you're not okay with you could block it you know anything to you know keep your mindset intact and keep your mental health in check is what you should do if it could be someone that you don't want to have anything to do with and the more you see their post the more you get irritated or the more it affects you block the person delete the number you know you have you must not relate with everybody everybody must not be friends anything you can do to keep your mental health in check is what you should you know hold on to so people that do not help you or support you or people that try to bring you down are people that you should not be rolling with so make sure you keep your squad in check another tip i'll say is get out of the house yes get out of the house it's easier to get trapped when you are in the house alone with the kids and you know maybe people that you're always with get out of the house it's going to help you help your reasoning and help you help widen your horizon because the more you stay at home the more you feel trapped and get trapped so get out feel the breeze meet people as much as you can just going out and meeting with other people can boost your confidence and make you feel better so as often as you can it's better to you know go out once a while meet with people have small sit out with your friends and catch on you know it helps with your positive energy and helps with you having positive vibe and gives you that kick you need to start the day or to achieve your goals so it's actually good to get out of the house and try to mingle with people another tip is act and think positive we know it's not easy to think positive all the time but as much as you can act and think positive because what you think is what actually grows in your mind and you thinking negative might actually affect you more than you know so you have having a positive vibe and trying to think in a positive manner and actually achieve positive um, attract positivity to you and make you more confident whenever you notice you're having negative thoughts you could you know pull yourself back and try to install positive vibes in there by you know switching it up and trying to think of something positive that is actually going to help you rather than drowning yourself in negative thoughts and vibes that is just going to kill your morale and all of that another point uh, here is keep learning and developing as they say knowledge is power and you never stop learning so the more you learn the more confident you get you just have to you know widen your horizon by trying to learn something it might be something small it might be a particular dish that you feel oh i really want to learn how to do this and you practice it and you learn it and you do it you achieving that boost your confidence automatically so you could actually just you know dedicate your time and just decide to learn something and do it thereby developing yourself and boosting your self-confidence it might be something little it might be something as small as learning parts of a vehicle or learning parts of a you know an electronic or when you learn it and you end up achieving it you have developed yourself and you have increased your knowledge thereby you know increasing your self-confidence and boosting your self-esteem so you should try to um learn more and um acquire more knowledge and implement it so the last but not the least is build confident habits confident habits can come in you know forms like uh eye contact yeah making more eye contact because the more eye contact you make the more your confidence because you don't tend to look down and drown and look like you're drowning in your sorrow so the more eye contact you make will help your confidence that is one confident habit the more you do this the more it becomes natural to you and you know you carry yourself more you carry yourself better so making eye contact practicing good um posture and um smiling things like this actually boost your self-confidence so try to smile more 
try to practice good posture and also try to make good eye contact because it really boosts your confidence and gives you that kick you need you know for your self-esteem it's very important that you practice these confidence habits um, this brings us to the end of this video if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share if possible and let me see your comments in the comment section so i know what you feel about the video or if you have ideas to boost my channel let me see your comments in the comment section to my returning subscribers thank you guys for always coming through and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up and share Thank you guys. Bye.